peace love and blessings so this is just a real quick word i'm gonna try to make this short and sweet i did not this is not a, a word that i have written out this is like quick notes this is like a right now word this is what the father had dropped in my spirit and um one of the revelations that he gave me which really confirmed things was a song that came up um today when i was listening to a song and the name of the song y'all was called take rest by Kalante Gavin and when I noticed this song number one I noticed when I when I noticed it the the length of the song was at 401 okay and 401 means like an outpouring an overflow just hold on to that an outpouring an overflow and I'm a, I'm a connect the dots but for some of you many of you in this hour have been seeking for answers have been seeking the father for instructions on what to do next and you haven't heard anything you haven't heard anything and it's also reminding me of situations you know not situations but the scenario of when the students are taking a test and the teacher is quiet when the students are taking a test the teacher is quiet okay so right now Many of you have been in a season where you have gotten tested. There may have been there there may have been um some type of act of faith that you might have taken and you might have received, you know, experienced rejection in that. Um whatever the circumstance is, but there might have been something that you had did and it kind of didn't go as planned as it didn't go the way you thought it should go but the father was testing you he was testing you he was testing your heart posture but that's for another word but many of you are in a season where you are being tested and many of you are in a season where you feel like you are you're not hearing from god how you normally do you feel like god has been quiet and that's because God is working behind the scenes. <laughs> He's working behind the scenes because you're getting ready to experience an overflow, an outpouring in your life. And he's testing you. This is the last test. Wow. This is the last test. As my sis Kosha told me, she said the other day, this is the final test. Okay. And so with all that being said, he doesn't want you to do anything. He doesn't want you to go to the left. He doesn't want you to go to the right. He doesn't want you to go backwards. He don't want you to do anything but be still. He doesn't want you to do anything but take rest. He doesn't want you to do anything but just trust him. He doesn't want you to do anything but just trust the process, okay? Because if we move to the left, if we move to the right, or if we look to the left, or if we look to the right, we might miss it. So the reason why he's telling many of us to take rest, to be still in this hour, because right now where you're at in your life, in, your, in, this, in, in whatever season you're in, your circumstances, you are in position. And you're getting ready to literally give birth into, to, to something great to something big but right now requires you to stay put to stay in position god is sending you relief god is sending you deliverance god is sending you help but right now he wants you to stay put he wants you to be still and even for some of you many of you have been called into consecration many of you have been called to go deeper in, this, in, in the presence of the Most High. Many have, have been called to even just go on a fast to get deeper and to get more aligned with the Father. Because even during this fast, after that fast or after this particular time of testing, He is going to give you an outpour of instructions on what to do next. But right now, the Father is saying, Beloved, I need you to be still. Beloved, I need you to trust in me. Beloved, I need you to stop worrying about how it looks, 
how it's going to look, how it's going to happen and just stay present and trust in me and know that I am God and know that my words will not return back void and know that after this moment of testing, after this season of you standing in position, there will be no more delays. So right now, the father is saying, peace, be still. He is saying, consecrate yourself. He is saying to rest. And even when I was looking up the song lyrics to the song called Take Rest, the numbers 347 popped up. And I said, you know what, father? This is nothing but confirmation because 347 means to um, lean back, to lay or to make sit down. In other words, like to lay down, to rest. So for many of you, you are entered into a season. No, I don't even wanna say it's a season cause it's not gonna be long and drawn out. But right now you're in the hour of rest. You're in the hour of being still. You're in the hour of consecration. And so stop trying to lean to your own understanding. Right now, the father is, he's trying to strengthen your faith. He's trying to stretch your faith. Right now, it feels like your back is against the wall. It feels like there's no, uh, no way out. It feels like there's no way out. It feels like you, you know, you, you did everything that the father told you to do. And now it's like, what am I to do next? It's not for you to figure out. It's not for you to figure out. Miracles can't happen when you know everything. This is the whole point of God performing a miracle in your life. He doesn't want you to know what's going to happen next. He's getting ready to surprise you. So right now, consecrate yourselves. Right now, stay in the Father's presence. Right now, don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Right now, don't make any moves. But be still and know that God is who he is. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So right now, peace, be still. Peace, be still. So take rest take rest be still and know that God is working even though it might not look like it but know that God is working and he is working everything it, I'm telling you everything is being worked out according to the good according to your good so just trust and know excuse me just trust and know that God is in control and all you need to do is just release control and allow the father to have his way so that he can continue to perform the way you're expecting him to perform. Stop trying to figure it out. So I encourage you, take some time to listen to this song. It's called Take Rest by Kalante Gavin. The lyrics are very beautiful. Um, and just let it marinate in your spirit. Because he knows what you need. Even before you you utter it out of your lips. Okay. He knows exactly what you need. And exactly at the right time. And at the right time. He will come through. So again. Take rest. Peace. Be still. Peace, love, and blessings.